Hey, hello everybody, it's Captain Dude, and today I am doing a tutorial on how to use Lightworks. Uh, Lightworks is a free video editing software. I sound like I'm trying to advertise it, like, hey, go get Lightworks. No, I'm just saying what it is, and it's free, and it's pretty good for a free one. So yeah, and also there's going to be a website link right here. I can't do anything about that, so that's going to be there. Anyway, when you first start out, it's going to show, well, before this, it's going to ask you log in, you log in, that, that's yeah. Then you put name, like, awesome name, and then just leave it on auto for now. It's a frame rate, by the way. And after that, it's going to ask you to import stuff. So you go to your folders and you get stuff that's that's basically what you do and then yeah oh and then before you do anything when you're in a project like this when you're in a project go here and then yours is going to be on each viewer so instead of having that click here and it's going to do this that helps so much oh my god do that because that, yeah, just do that, okay? Remember, click here, global, right here. Yeah, okay. And then what you do is you go here, create new edit. That's going to create a timeline. This is where all your video goes and audio and stuff. Right here is where it shows what you did with the video. Double click here. And then, yeah. You choose where you want your video to start by pressing I on your keyboard. That marks an endpoint. Then you move your little play thing right here, the red thing. You move it so that you stops. <laughs> <laughs> it stops wherever you want it to. And so let's say you want to stop right here. You go here and click replace, and that'll put the stuff. See, and now it's in timeline. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's move this over a bit. Okay. So, um, let's say you don't want video, you just want the audio of this hunter laughing really weirdly. What you do is you go click here, that's gonna make it act as if there is no video here, as if this thing doesn't exist. So you click replace again, and it's just going to put audio because it thinks there is no video. And then to bring it back, bleh, brack? Yeah, bring it back. Yeah, guys, bring it back. No, bring it back. I can't even talk right now. Oh, my God. Bring it back. You click it again, and it's going to glow. So let me say you want... A different video oh you can't do that okay um, let's say you want a different video say you want a different video for this audio you do and point out point and then deselect these ones and click replace and that's gonna put it CSGO audio on Minecraft video. <laughs> and I'm not Same even thing. playing with anyone in this, so that's really <laughs> weird, but whatever. Uh huh. Let's say that oop, what do you do? Okay. Okay, so what if you want your video to like fade in from black and then it starts? Because so I do with mine, they fade in, and they start. So you go to mixes and then dissolve. And I'm not sure if this is gonna be on yours, but if this is gonna be selected or not. But you, but what you do is you do select keyframes and you move the slider to zero. And that's only for beginning. Zero is only for the beginning of the video. And then it should 
Yeah, it's very fast, but it's still it's still fading. So yeah, and then let's make a cut point here with. Actually, no, let's not make a cut point. Let's delete the rest with in point, out point, remove because don't really use delete. I mean, there's a point where you do have to use the leap, I'll show you that later. Use remove when you're, like, removing video like that, because it just makes like, things easier. Yeah. Okay, let's put some... And then... Oh, also. If you have a endpoint here and you don't want it there, click P and it'll get rid of it. And then, yeah. Let's put some more video... And then this jumps to the next cut point. So here's a cut point. It's gonna jump here, jump here, yeah. And jumps and then click deselect this because you want this. And replace. And then here. Here again. And then go to effects dissolve. That was weird. Dissolve. And it's gonna do this, put it at 50% for in between two different clips, and watch how it it's really bad for this guy on our team. like that, Low. yeah, oh, Kobe, go. it changes bad for this guy like on that, team. yeah, see, Low. yeah, um, hmm. there's more effects, there's a lot of effects, dude, there's color, color tint, how much? What color? Let's just make this the most random thing ever. Let's put it on negative. Negative. Oh my god. This is crazy. Uh, let's go to... Mass. I don't use that. Taste. I don't use that either. I don't use a lot of these. I never used any of these. I'm gonna try it. Uh, let's see. Uh, blur. Whoa. Looks like my video is bad, but it's really not. Oh my god. Oop. Whoa. What the heck? I'm just having fun with this right now. Oh, that can be a transition. Like, he goes that, and then it goes back, and it's a different video. I never thought of that. Wow. Let's get rid of it. Um, let's see here. I never used this, actually, so... That looks so awesome! <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's make this the most random... Our mission... Random... Let's put a title on it. Poop. Yeah! make it upside down um, you can make it upside down going here and then I think it's Z yeah it's Z go 180 180 degrees Ooh. upside down grayscale poop whatever video glowing oh my god <laughs> yeah it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be all normal except for same, same thing and then really, really bad transition. Poop. Low. Upside oh, down, glowing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. Okay. Um. What I think I'll do next is actually I'll show you the size of DVDs and stuff. I'll do it on this because it's not random. I'll show you like sizing it and see that moves it. You can just use this. You don't have to. Five, five, five. This is the size you can make it like really wide, really long. That just makes it exactly the same, but really wide and long. Oh my god, that's what she said. <laughs> Why is this? Oh my god, this is being so weird. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, it's. I have messed it up. I don't know what that meaning. <laughs> oh 
Okay, I'm back. That was a problem, but now it's fixed. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, now I'm going to show you keyframes. Which keyframes are these little tiny things right here. I don't even know what they are, but whatever. So what they do is that they make it so that if you let's say make it like this you want it to zoom in like slowly what you do that's a keyframe right there and what do you do stop stop don't don't even do that and then that's key no oh, god dang it wait what okay okay so so you want to zoom in you put you put it like this, that makes the keyframe, and then you move. And then it's already zooming in anyway, but... So you want it to zoom in all the way. You go here, press 1, and that'll zoom in all the way, and it'll... So if we play it... It's gonna do this weird... Same, same thing! <laughs> Everybody buy flashbangs and anything? Yeah. And you can do that with position... Crop, shadow, I don't use shadow, you can do it with opacity, you can do it basically everything. Yeah, that's keyframes. Titles? I already did titles, but if you didn't see it, I guess I'll do it again. Uh, titles, you type here, the, and then, oh, no, what do you do? Let me have font adobe heidi opacity <laughs> it's like in the middle screen like blue <laughs> color let's make it red or blue let's make it blue uh, actually can't you go like this and it will not make it white i thought you could make it so it's like really no you can't Sure you can. Wait, I'm gonna do this. And then color two. What's color? There is no color two. Okay. Uh, shadow, or no outline. That's what we want. Outline. Let's make it red. Oh, it's not enabled. Blah, blah, glowing blah. It's a glowing god. Oh my god. And then effects. Here's fade. That makes it. Fade in, even though this video is already. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Same thing. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. I'm like, just like, bleh. that makes it fade in. Like, it's like the dissolve, but for text, basically. And there's also the typewriter, which let's put it really slow, so see it a typewriter <laughs> yeah that's what it does can make it fade out too really bad for this uh, guy on our team. poop and then uh, let's see position you can just move it outline yeah that's basically text um let's see See here, DVE color. I basically went over everything. Uh, there's also kind of a dissolve for audio. It's crossfade, and there's all this audio stuff here too. So if you have a cut in audio, you can just put a crossfade, and it'll fade it in between and stuff. Yeah. Um, what's it gonna do? Oh yeah. Also, if dude that requested this if you didn't understand or if I didn't go over what you meant uh, I'll try to go over it now let's just import Illuminati confirmed and close this <laughs> this is gonna be so funny this is gonna be funny so if it's just an mp3 file you press in point and then out point and then 
I'm gonna delete this audio because just for it's gonna be hilarious. Stop it. There we go. Okay, and then remove, remove, always remove. Don't use delete if you're doing stuff like that. I'll show you delete in maybe like a few minutes. And then replace. It's gonna be a blah Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 let's make it a full thing. Okay. And then control Z is undo, also. There, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then there's. Oh, yeah, and then also spacebar. Oh, that's loud. Spacebar is play. That's how I'm playing this. Hmm. What else is there? If you want to make... Say you want to make two separate clips right here. Click delete. And that doesn't actually delete this video. It just makes a cut. But if you do an endpoint and right here, it'll actually delete what you chose to delete. So... Again, don't do an endpoint and like that and press delete. Always press remove if you're doing that. But if you want to make a cut, use delete because you can't use... Or can you? Yeah, you can't use remove to make a cut. And also, I can only record for 10 minutes with this bandicam, so... Uh, yeah, there might be a few cuts where I start it again. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, I was gonna say something and I forgot. Let's say you're completely done here. Wait, I wanna see this. They're starting to know what I'm doing. Why did it pause? What the heck? Oh, oh, okay, never mind. So let's say you're completely done here. What you do is you press, go to the last part, the last video that ends, like, here. You go here, press endpoint, and press this, and this is where you use delete. You press delete, and then that gets rid of all the black space over there. Okay, so now when you want to export, you go here. Here, okay. And then put a name. Let's put Mega Minati. Luck. And you choose where you want it. Frame rate. What it is. YouTube. Yeah. Press start. Shouldn't take too long. This is short. It's done. <sighs> Stop. Burping. Okay. And then it's all exported. Oh, uh, hey, it's Bandicam. Oh my god. So I'll export right here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> you have to say, That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're starting to know what I'm doing. And then, I should have put like Illuminati and zoom in. But yeah, that has basically been the whole tutorial. Huh. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy. This has been Captain Dude. Yeah, bye.